How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you watched the previous two videos, I think, the last one or the one previously, actually I'll just update you on both. So if you watched my vinyl wrapping video, you might notice that the vinyl wrapping is gone. I lived with it. Uh, if you saw my Instagram post, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's right here. I, I wasn't a huge fan of the way it turned out. Um, one big thing was I did it or at least I finished it in the dark and I wasn't super pleased with the final kind of install and the cut. So I just took it off. I'm probably gonna try it again at a later date or pay someone to do it. So lesson learned, don't do mods in the dark or while you're frustrated. Just pay someone to do the things that you can't do or have a little more confidence. Throughout the process, I was just getting really frustrated and you live and you learn sometimes. You gotta admit your faults. I'm not the best vinyl wrapper. Another thing is the high beam uh, fog lights. I tried to do the fog light install, but I ended up having to put them in the high beams. So um, I got a new set of fog light bulbs. These are the brand I got from Amazon. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted on super bright LEDs, which is where I usually go for my um, LED solutions. These ones should fit. So we're gonna install these. And I didn't just wanna do a fog light install. We're also gonna do the uh, fog lights always on modification, or at least like fog lights on with the running lights. It's something that I've wanted to do because I love the fog lights, but with the switchbacks and everything, I kind of wanted like a daytime fog light thing um, without turning on the headlights. So there's a little modification that we can do for that. And I'm gonna show you, how, show you guys how I do it and uh, I'll post a link to the instructions in the description below so you can do them as well. So I'm gonna quickly throw in the fog light bulbs um, and then we'll get on with the install with the always on fog light mod. In the time lapse, you may have seen me kind of going back and forth um, and first, these wouldn't turn on. I found that if you turn on your brights while uh, your fog lights are on, the fog lights don't work. So I went back and forth trying to figure out why my fog lights wouldn't turn on. I thought it was a fuse or something like that, but I figured out that the LEDs that I put in as the high beams drawed just enough current to make it the fog lights think that the brights were on. So I replaced those uh, high beam bulbs with the stock ones. And now everything is back to working normal. And it's hard to tell on video, but these are a lot, these are like actual yellow fog lights as you can see. Um, so they're a lot more yellow. I really love the color that these put out and they're pretty bright. Um, I'd say they put out maybe a tiny bit less brightness than the stock ones do. But as you can tell from right here, they're so much more yellow, a lot more golden. I really like the way that looks. This is exactly what I wanted from the start. So the yellow tint is gonna stay. It still looks good, but when they're on, it really adds that yellow tint to it. So I'm super happy with this. Now we can move on to having these as driving lights. So first things first, anytime you're dealing with car electricity, you want to at least remove the negative terminal or negative cable on your battery so no power's running through. Next year we're gonna to wanna to come over to your fuse panel. And we are going to remove the two plugs, this one and this one, from the fuse panel itself. Next, we're gonna remove these two nuts that hold these wires in. Now you can pull up on these wires. Around your fuse panel are little tabs. And they should all kind of pop around. And I'll let you wiggle out 
the upper part of your fuse box just like that. Pull it out and you can see a lot of wires attached to the bottom of it so you just kind of don't really need to mess with those but just move it out of the way. So down inside your fuse box is the secondary little outlet thing which is that brown top right there. You can reach in. There's also little tabs on this one. There's like two. Pop those guys right off. There's one, there's three actually. All right, and now that your bottom panel is accessible, just take note that this is your fog light relay right here. This is your tail light relay right here. This is the one, these are the two that you wanna worry about right now. So you'll wanna remove this because you want access to the bottom of it. So I'm just gonna flip mine over. It's, gonna, it's kind of a tight workspace, but just be careful not to break any wires, obviously, and just watch out for it. Now the next part of this is kind of tricky to see on camera, but there is a purple and white wire right here. And this is part of your fog light relay. And then over here right next to it is a green and black wire that goes into the tail light. What you're gonna do you're gonna cut this wire and you're going to splice it into the green and black. So purple and white, green and black. You'll splice those into each other without cutting the green and black one. And it should modify your fog lights to come on with your tail lights and your tail lights come on with your driving lights. So everything should come on at the same time. You're just sending a signal to the fog lights through this wire, which will make it a active wire. wires are all connected. I soldered mine together um, just because I felt like that was the right thing to do. But otherwise it's a pretty like clean install. You're not gonna see it ever but let's hope it works before I put this all back together. Alright I've plugged my battery back in everything is back together so what should happen is when my LED rings and the side marker lights or driving lights are on, the fog lights should come on as well when before only the fog lights would come on if my headlight was on. So let's hope this works. Uh, and if not, we're gonna have to do it all over again, but fingers crossed. Hey! So the fog light mod worked. You can see my Little switchbacks are on with the fog light when before the fog lights would only come on with the headlights. So, just so you guys can see. So that's one click, one click on. And now headlights are on. As you can see, fog lights are still on. Now let's see, I wanna see if the, uh, turn my brights on. I turn my brights on, the fog lights stay on, which before they didn't because now the fog lights are kind of powered into the tail lights. So, as long as your tail lights are on, so are your fog lights. Here's what it all looks like at night. As you can see, the fog lights are much, much more yellow, and I'm really liking that. And with that, on a very successful note, I'm going to close out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, as I said, the how-to that I followed is down in the description below. It was a write-up and I haven't seen a video for this kind of mod, so you can follow along. Hopefully you guys could see in the video. If you have questions, be sure to just write a comment below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. 
So hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and you can see more videos like this one, more Miata content, more driving content, and car content all around. One thing I will note is the autocross that was scheduled for the end of this month got moved into August. So there's gonna be a little bit more time before then, um, but be prepared. There will be another autocross video coming up. I think there might be another pancake meet coming up next weekend. I might attend that one. Otherwise, that's it. As I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, make sure you leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.